Um, double on the inside. Okay, we've come up with the parry. Now let me show it on this side as, as well. Okay, if I strike into the nerves of the arm, I can get that stifling action. Or I can just slip and come right back in and get ready to attack the elbow. Now when I attack the elbow, could you come in with this once again? I'm not going to numb out the arm on the inside for this. I'm going to show you this, this targeting. I've got a double action here. Now I can hit the nerves that I showed you earlier and cause the knees to buckle just a little bit. If the arm had turned, I've got that Golgi that I can work off of as well. But why not work both of them? I'm going to take a, a, an iron palm type of a, an attack, and you'll see the ramifications of iron palm a little later. It's not mystery, and it's not myth. You'll see. But uh, anyway, I'm going to attack with that, and I'm going to use my, my fingers coming back. Now, in the Bubishi, we had the iron palm, and we also have what's called the blood pool hand. So we're going to use those in... in <laughs> sorry about that, man. Okay. In succession to trap the arm and weaken them for whatever follow-up we're going to be doing. Okay, later on I'll be showing my headshots on another DVD. So as he comes in with this one, maybe I've numbed out the hand, maybe I didn't, but at least I've got him trapped down in there so I've got the leverage. I could sweep the leg, there are a number of things we could do. Or I could just attack the arm once again and drop him <laughs> right to the ground. Sorry about that one. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, so as Mr. Daddario was saying, can you take out the, um, the ulnar nerve on the inside of the brachial plexus way up in, in through the bicep and through here. You grab the wrist if you want or trap it against the body and then just come in with that double slap. To follow up, you could also come in with a strike. Now we've been striking into this area right under the deltoid. And it's not just on the side, it could be in the back as well. And if I punch, you can still, still see that you weaken out, out the legs. So once this... You take your breath away. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, okay. So I'm going to attack here and I'm going to go right into that, that next strike. Okay. Now he's mentioning that the breath is going. Okay. And what happens with this is these nerves tie into the spine. And if we could just turn you for one second, John. Okay. The, the radial nerve in particular comes out and it comes right up into the neck at the C, C4, C5. And that's where the phrenic nerve that uh, stimulates the diaphragm comes into an effect. So you got two things that are affecting his breathing. The shock on the nerve going into that central location on the spine that's affecting the phrenic nerve as well. You also have, when you watch just his neck here, you see the whiplash effect. That's pinching the nerve with the vertebrae. So again, you're not getting the, the breath down or the, the functionality of the diaphragm. So even these arm attacks, as benign as they may seem, they're, they're pretty powerful techniques. Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. The film clip you just watched was from the Kyusho Kali arms techniques. Now, in that film, I was describing some arm targets to utilize the arm destructions of the Filipino art of Kali. Now, uh, we use these same techniques in Kyusho because let's basically uh, figure out that it's not the art, it's the targets and the trajectories and the tools that you use that make a technique work or not work. Now, uh, you see some uh, tools being utilized. One in particular is the iron palm. I also use the blood pool ha uh, hand and the uh, iron sword hand. Now, we're gonna take a look in the extended videos of the uh, actual knockouts using some different techniques and the same targets that we've been utilizing throughout that filming of the Kyusho and Kali. Now, you're going to see a couple uh, in the beginning that are uh, based on the tool from the Bubishi called the Iron Palm. It's not a myth, it's an actuality, but there's two different styles of Iron Palm. One is a hard style. You've seen many practitioners um, training on sand and rocks and uh, breaking coconuts and stacks of bricks. Uh, that's a hard style. Then there's the softer style. Now, the softer style is not based on um, chi or ki or some magic energy. It's based on pure kinetic energy, which is an um, energetic transference 
through speed, velocity, uh, uh, velocity, etc. And this is targeted on uh, actual weaker anatomical structures. Uh, in these cases, the nerves, and there was one that um, is on the blood vessels of the arm itself. So there's many different ways to utilize these tools where you don't have to use the same ballistic force or the same um, hand deforming uh, techniques to train that you do with the harder styles like the ones breaking the coconuts, etc. You can utilize this, but it takes practice and it takes a long time of practice. It's not an easy thing to pick up. Uh, you have to be able to um, know where the target is, the trajectory of the message you want to send up the neurological uh, system or the nerves themselves, as an example, and then you have to apply this uh, technique correctly, and then you have to go through a series of training exercises where you induce more stress, more spontaneity, to see if you actually have the skill built that you could utilize this in a real uh, situation. So you're going to see, um, I believe it's three iron palm knockouts, and it's not by myself, it's by the Shihans of Mansfield, the training group I've been with for over 20 years. And um, what I, I did in the beginning was just give you a couple of the targets and a couple of um, softer applications. These guys uh, were going to do the knockouts and they utilized it quite well. There's a couple other situations, a couple other methodologies that were used and tools and, as well, like the iron sword I saw on one. Um, there was one that uh, deployed um, the um, uh, iron hammer or the hammer fist. Um, and that worked out great too. So there's even one at the end that's uh, pretty strange that works on the blood and um, some different uh, Q-show methodologies that's really interesting to see. So anyway, uh, take a look at the extended video and you have the information up in the front of this video so you could make some uh, nice training techniques for yourself. <laughs>